Jason Stewart, Cody Smith with Song Dog Mafia. We're with Tony Tebby, and we're hunting coyotes in New Mexico. The job is presented by Song Dog Mafia, Icotech, dead serious game calls, specialized dynamics. If you want to hang fur, you got to drive tax. Black Diamond Optics, expand your potential. Predator Hunter Outdoors, keep hunting after the sun goes down. And Tony Tebby's signature sounds, second to none. guys, Song Dog Mafia crew, we got Cody, Cody Smith, and staffer Jason Stewart here. We are headed to New Mexico to call coyotes with the one and only Tony Tebby. So we are pumped. We're on the road. Chad Skinner is already headed down there. He's already, he'll be there in the next couple, three hours. He's, uh, if you guys know him, he's Pixel Beer Media. He does all of our um, editing. He's one that puts all the videos together, guys. So he does a great job for us. So he's going to come down and be cameraman for us. So Tony's doing all the work. Chad's doing all the work behind the camera. And me and Cody just get to hang out and pull the trigger, guys. So we're sitting back and lay fur down. We are pumped. So got the specialized dynamics in the back ready to bark. They're ready to eat. Stay tuned. Song Dog Mafia on the move. Number one in Tulsa. Time to get some fuel. Tony, keep the lights on. We're on our way, buddy. Welcome to New Mexico. Well, thank Ooh. you. <laughs> How was y'all's drive? Good. We fired Good through it. Up. Left hand. Yeah. We're we're uh, we're injured this time, so. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Yep. Powered through it. We got here. We're ready to rock and roll. I think the temperature says 102. Yeah. <laughs> so what's our what's our first step, Tony? Uh, we need to get hunting licenses, and after that, we're going to look for scouts. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. All right. You don't need a license to hunt coyotes in Mexico if you're a resident, but a non-resident has to have some valid hunting license to be able to carry a firearm in the field. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys, we are legal and ready to go in the state of New Mexico, so we're going to head out with Tony Tebby. We're going to grab a quick bite to eat, and then we're going to see what we can't do, see if we can't lay down some New Mexico coyotes with Tony. We're pretty excited. We're pretty pumped, so stay tuned. We got Song Dog Mafia here. We're about to go out. We got Jason and Cody, cameraman Chad. We're gonna go call up the coyote. But first, we gotta get some gas, and then we're about to hit it for our first afternoon hunt. So we parked down this low spot here. There's quite a few coyotes hanging out up on this hill. I didn't want to expose the truck, so we'll, we'll strap on the boot leather, hike it a little bit further. And hit him with the element of surprise. That wind is right in our face. The sun's right here. These coyotes have no idea, these Missouri boys. Alrighty. Rock and roll first thing. It's about to happen.
I'll tell you what, I was pumped up for quite a long time before we went out to New Mexico. Tony's one heck of a guy. His hospitality was amazing. Anybody that knows anything about predator hunting knows Tony Tebby. He knows what he can do, what he makes, and I mean, he's just world renowned for what he does. So having the opportunity to go hunt with Tony, by far probably one of the neatest things I've done in a long time. Once we got there, it did not uh, fell my expectations. I got it on film, but maybe it's a good thing. Let's hope not. Just missed uh, the first coyote to come into New Mexico. Hey, is that a pretty coyote? That was a pretty coyote. Yes. I'm just gonna go back to the truck and set the rest of the night. It is what it is. Uh, zero for song dog because of me. We're gonna move on to the next. If I had a dollar for every coyote I seen get missed, I could buy a new pickup truck every year. <laughs> you know, it happens to the best of us, happens to all of us, but uh, that was not the way I wanted to start the trip out. All right, guys, day two. With Tony Tebby, we're gonna hit it again. Think it's gonna be good, Tony? Yeah, we'll call some stuff up this morning. On this next hunt, you know, Tony talks about how quick this is gonna be, and, and this is a spot that they come right in on it, and he was not wrong. We had this first coyote come in really fast from our left, caught us all off guard. Uh, I think Chad was maybe getting some B-roll, and this coyote comes right in. I don't think we got the best video on it, but I had to make it happen because this coyote was getting ready to bail out, so I had to go ahead and shoot it. Take him out again. But you know, we started off the morning great. We knew it was going to be good. Tony said it was going to be good, and that looked like a nice coyote. He wasn't wrong, and he was obviously not going to stop. Right. You know, so he took the shot. Yeah. That's a good look up. Yeah, you, that language, he just, he knew something. He, Tony said when we first got there, you guys need to pack a shotgun. He wasn't kidding. Out there in the wide open, you're like, how do these things get on you so quick? And sure enough, I think this one came in, it was probably 40, 50 yards, and it, it could have been shotgunned easily. Well, that's a nice looking guy. He's got a chunky little fart, ain't Yeah, he's, he's a little heavy. Husky. Getting furred up already out here for yeah, you. Yeah, they're getting furred up. They're kind of showing this going to be a good winter. And look at all this thick fur in here. Mm -hmm. nice. Got teeth worn down a little bit in the front. <laughs> a little bit older, Kyle. Yeah. How old do you think he is, Tony? Uh, he's uh, two to three, I'd say. Uh -huh. He's, he's on film pretty good. I'd say 30, 32. Yeah, he's 31, 32 pounds. Yeah. So, uh, oh, mush. Good job. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yeah, the old uh, nozzle didn't let him go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What were you using on that one when he showed up? Cottontail crazy. Cottontail crazy. You know, everybody uses cottontail candy. Cottontail candy. Uh -huh. um, I kill more coyote than cottontail crazy. So, it's just got a totally different pitch, cadence. Yeah, I'm going to go get the outlaw. We're going to make another All right. There you go. Awesome job. Good job, man. Goner. Next time on The Job, the Song Dog crew is just getting started in New Mexico. Tony puts you in the perfect situations. I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing. Cody is itching to lay down his first New Mexico coyote. My finger was itching. It was itching so bad. Then, Tony gives Jason and Cody an experience they'll never forget. That's incredible. That's on the next episode of The Job. <laughs>